Hello guys and happy new year. Tonton is here. Sorry for disappearing for quite a few times. Just had a several, a lot of like party New Year's Eve. So now I'm back and I think I will kick off the year with a uh, cliff analyzing the evolution of Optimus Prime figure. But then since Prime is a well-known character, we have a lot of versions. So I will only focus on the, the version of Optimus from the live-action movie from the from one to three. Which will be the uh, truck, that the, the, the old truck that we are familiar with, and let's begin. So first here we have the original toys. Since I don't have the figures itself, I'm gonna use an image. And as you can see, this is the first attempt of recreating Optimus Prime in the figure mode. I think this is a 2007 leader class Optimus Prime. And with this first version, I think that we don't have all the accessories. We only have the blaster of him, and the blaster is on a gimmick. So like flip the blaster onto the hand and also he's a, a pretty we have a lot of like the G1 look I mean like from the all the squares and everything we don't have that exactly slick aesthetic of the live action model and one more thing is that he I think this version we do have LED and sounds and basically this is the start of all the awesome future of, of the Optimus Prime figures so now finish on this one I'm gonna jump to the uh, next version I think this is the um, 2009 leader class Optimus Prime and here we have the next step of Optimus Prime this is the Revenge of the Fallen leader version I did have the uh, arms modification like he can use this is a full articulate hands now otherwise this is optimus you can see that he's pretty movie accurate if you turn him around turn him around as you see that they did a pretty good job at that time in doing the backpack kind of neat which is i uh, which i really like and the gas tank here you can actually transform it into a gun that is which is nice so he have so he will have two guns and two sword. This is actually quite a nice feature, considering that he have he used his weapon in this uh, in the movie quite a lot. And one more is this one still has that sound feature. If you there's uh, this piece in the stomach, but unfortunately I didn't change the battery, so we will have no sounds. This is a huge improvement because upon this figure, we will have. A lot of Optimus Prime, they all have improvements, but then they all first base from this figure alone. So in a way, you can say that this leader class of 2009 Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime is the start of all. Like it's not the start. I mean, like it will be the uh, the main standard for all Optimus Prime figure. So in to convert into both a uh, big Optimus Prime and some smaller Prime. Uh, so from the 2009 leader class we have this 2010 Voyager Battle Blade Optimus Prime and as you can see that he is the uh, miniaturized version of the Revenge of the Fallen Leaders as you can see here you still have the sword onto the hands and this is the gun also as the gas tank and I'm impressed that they managed to miniaturize the whole engineer and he does have some brown yellow part this is like Mimic maybe the broadest thing or something, which is not in the movie, but it, I think it's is a nice touch, like adding a few levels of detail onto the figure itself. And one more thing that this is the first ever movie Optimus Prime that does include a matrix of leadership inside his chest, which is a really nice touch. In the, even though I'm not gonna bother taking it out, this is too small. But then this is a good touch for the Voyager for the smaller scale Optimus, which is a really good move from Hasbro. A little bit from on the size, this is the 2011 Voyager Optimus Prime from the Transformer Prime series. Why do I include him onto this video? It is because at first he bears a quite similar resemblance of the movie Optimus Prime. And second is that his engineer will have a lot of effects onto the uh, hottest line in my channel right now, which is the Studio Series line. So that is why I also include him. As you can see that his figure came out in 2011. And he is a decent Optimus Prime, I must say. With bulky arms and slim thighs. Which is kind of like a super robot resemblance. And he came with a blaster and a blade. Which is kind of nice, as you can see. The gun is quite big, so it really resembles the uh, 
Optimus Prime movie blaster and also the sword and with the with this we will have like few more incarnation of Optimus Prime in the movie franchise basically everything is adaptation from this guy here and how are they gonna resemble I'm gonna take talk in the next part which is the first studio series Optimus Prime ever let's find out and here we have the 2018 Voyager studio series number 5 Optimus Prime this is the first studio Optimus Prime that we ever have and I will show you some a lot of similarities between these two versions. First, as you can see, the chest section. They all have one, two, three packs each size. So here, one, two, three. So the explanation is that they say they use the same um, engineering to transform, which is why he's not really movie accurate because in the movie, Optimus not supposed to have this to like joints over here as you can see that is one of the similarities and if you look to this area here I'm gonna bring them closer so you can see it as you can see the wheels here and you have that hollow wheels cover so yeah because since the movie design is a little bit different so that is why we have the wheels up on his thighs here but not up here but then we still have that wheels cover section which means that the engineer is still some way is the same in the way of you know representing the design of the movies that is why yeah that's why I said this prime does really affect a lot of upcoming Optimus Prime figure and from him we have the studio series number 5 and then from the studio in the series number 5 we have another studio series which is the uh, number 44 I'm using the number 44 because he's the best version of Optimus so far so I'm gonna bring him in right now so you can see and this is the uh, latest version of the Optimus Prime and I think this will be the final version of him I mean like in this design in the studio, studio series line as you can see the Optimus here he still bear the he's now more in shape with the movie self, movie design, his hand is still the sh his hand, his arm is still the same gimmick. See the open and flip flop like that. But then again, his chest is now different. This is not totally flat. It got like texture, which is like what he looks like in the movie, and I and I like that a lot. This is like finally that we have some movie accuracy about the transformation gimmicks and everything. One thing that is not movie accurate like the first studio series is that the wheels position as you can see in the movies prime normally we'll have two wheels on the thighs and one on the legs but then only the uh, the first studio series managed to have that but then on the mp40 the ss44 we have the two wheels here which is similar to the prime's version as you can see here this is similar which it's not really nice at all to be honest and he still kept the uh, the wheel ring the wheels cover onto his lower body section and yeah that's it for the smaller scale figure I mean like for we we been through a lot and this is I'm pretty happy with this figure itself because if anyone say 10 years ago that we're gonna have such a detail and really nice looking figures like that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna believe I to be honest but then we have this and I'm really happy which is what Takarai and Hasbro has gave us I am really appreciate the, the efforts and now enough with the small guy I'm gonna move to the uh, bigger guys which it will be the movie masterpiece version and I mean two KO's version let's find out and here we have the uh, movie masterpiece Optimus Prime this is the um, official version of Takara and Hasbro as you can see here we got this is what we all want as a kid the best I mean this is might be the best Optimus Prime figure ever with everything that we want we expect is first he got that really movie accurate design the um, bulky body of the first leader is gone and the uh, Improper in scale of the uh, 
2009 leader class is also gone what we end up here is a very slick and detailed figures which can change the face and we have these accessories here is a blaster and it also comes with his sword but then unfortunately i don't have them here with me right now so yeah you know what it what they, what they looks like anyway and this is a very good version because this is you do have some die cast part on the feet and on the leg here they are die cast which means that they're gonna add a very good weight to the figure's bottom half so he can stand a lot more secure and as you can see here the two wheels here they have already separate those so they will very be very like you can manage them quite easily in the transformation and anyway this is a good prime I mean like this is what we all want and to be honest it is nice at that time but now to me comparing the two prime I'm gonna bring up to the video I don't like this guy that much anymore so let's find out so from the first um, movie masterpiece Optimus Prime we have it to knockoff versions here so the, the this one here is the uh, I think the code is LS03F from Black Mamba this is like the upscale version of the movie masterpiece as you can see they add the six pack here so from the so he looks like in what he looks like in Dark of the Moon and next to him we have the uh, Black Apple Wei Zhang knockoff so this one still stay in its original course of the uh, one and two incarnation uh, uh to me uh, to be honest this two figure here they all still use the same engineering from the movie masterpiece but then they add up a, a little bit of change now and there to keep for the smoke pipe this is the smoke pipe of the uh, black apple but on the um, black mamba it's moved to this side so it's kind of like hidden away and obviously the black mamba is taller and upon die cast part uh the the two versions still have the same die cast proportion as the movie masterpiece since they, it is hard to calculate which part you should and should not include die cast part and another difference is that the um the chrome part as you can see for the black apple version the way jang he has a lot of die like chrome part like they did a lot of chroming into the board the figure so it will look shiny and nice and one thing is really important is that for the shoulder armor as you can see the black mamba version is like spring loaded so it moves on its own but then with the black apple it's the same as the movie masterpiece so you got kind of kind of like joint and you have to angle it yourself upon scale since this is all a uh, knockoff version so they all will be bigger than the movie masterpiece and this is what they they look like in scale <clears throat> so this is the movie masterpiece we have the Wei Zhang Black Apple and this is Black Mamba so yeah kind of like a really different in scale because if you look at the movie masterpiece and the Black Mamba version I mean like he's like really tall figures and one more thing is that I actually I prefer the blues from the two knockoff version than the blues in the original version because i believe like in the movie prime has uh, like a dark metallic blue paint that this is like a bright blue paint i don't really like that as well and also the red they all look glossier especially with the black uh, black mamba version and the arms of the uh, black apple version is kind of strange since it doesn't have that armor cover up section which is kind of odd to me and one more thing that about the black apple version is that this stomach section here they really like pops out quite quite a bit so as you can see this is kind of strange to me as well so yeah that's basically it and yeah this is a uh, knockoff teams versus the original team and that's it, it for today's Happy New Year's again guys and I hope you enjoy the uh, evolution of Optimus from, from 1 to 3. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel of course and also follow me on Instagram, the link is on my description. That is where I do most of my updates and talks to you guys to see what, what can I improve in my upcoming videos. That's all, Tonton is back for 2020 and I wish you again a happy new year. Goodbye guys. Bye.